What's up, you guys? Tom is back with another Linson's video. The wifey is here because obviously she has a cult or a following on my channel. There's a few of you guys that are fans of her, so uh, we're gonna actually make this video all about her today. So that means I get a fragrance. Take it away. Just kidding. Thank you guys for coming back for another Lens Sense video. Thank you for watching us on those. Um, multimedia devices, whether it's on your phone, your tablet, Apple Watch, work devices when y'all should be working. But anyhow, we love it. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you new, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Is that what you usually do? I Pretty think so. much straight. <laughs> wow, couldn't have said it any better. Uh, I might just have her start doing the intro pretty soon. Uh, that was a good job. Um, now, today she has no idea what fragrance she has that I purchased. Um, again, I, I don't think she really buys fragrance for herself. I'm pretty much the fragrance buyer in the household. I haven't had. <laughs> um, so, uh, she, the only thing she knows is where it's from. Because obviously there's a sticker on it. But she doesn't know the brand name. She doesn't know the name of the fragrance. She doesn't know how many ounces. She doesn't know nothing. So we are going to test her knowledge and see if she's learned anything over the past year watching me do these fragrance videos. Uh, hopefully she does not let me down. So uh, with that being said, take it away. Where What do we got here? Where is it from? <laughs> this is from eBay. Um, right? eBay. Bought it from eBay. Okay. Okay. This is from one of his favorite eBay stores. And the seller lives in Chicago. It is Chicago, but who is selling it now? Should be right there on the sticker. It is from um, Intense Oud. Fragrances from the East. The Intense Oud store. Remember, you guys, out there in... Well, it's like Lombard, Illinois. Wherever the hell that is compared to where Chicago is, hell, it might be like almost a whole state away. I don't know. I just say Chicago because it's the only city I pretty much know about uh, Illinois besides that and a couple other small ones around us. But uh, Lombard, Illinois, intense oud. If y'all remember the last video I was in, it, was, it had this packaging and we had to unwrap it and he said it was in Chicago. So that's what I remember. Chicago, I Lombard, it. wherever the heck it's from. Uh, it is from the Intense Oud store, so that's at least that's at least correct. Um, and she is correct that they do gift wrap it. Uh, man, almost like... And, and they do such a good job wrapping it. Take a look at that. It's almost like the old little mall bat was kind of wrapping that up in his looks, store, maybe. It looks like um, wallpaper. And uh, you guys, trust me. Wrapping something up in that shape, that cylinder shape, is difficult. And that it is guy perfect. did a good job. Uh, man, you would almost think there was a uh, toilet paper roll in there. He did such a good job. But and anyways, it's solid. intense oud. Again, you guys, uh, she's got it upside down. But okay. uh, make oh, sure that if you guys are gonna buy it from him, go out there and buy a few bottles. Before you know, he will you ask for something free. Yes. Always, always, always. Don't just buy one cheap little bottle of like some old granddad's fragrance and then you yeah, ask for something free. No, go go out there and spend maybe at least a hundred dollars. Hundreds, hundred, hundred fifty. If you could, okay. If you do that, maybe all up front and you buy like six of them, he probably will throw in a free bottle or yeah. two. So uh, full bottles too, not just not just little little. Decants, he throws in a full size bottle, so you know, you be don't nice make to the guy. Promises, and then just... I'm not, so if he doesn't give you nothing, it's just because you're not good enough to get something. So, uh, I'm just kidding, but hopefully, he will. Uh, but, anyways, uh, the wifey is gonna open it. We are gonna see if she has learned anything. I will quiz her on it, and then we will kind of smell it together. So if you would like to open it up and get it going, and let's see what it is now. It is going to be an Arabian fragrance, obviously, but we're going to see if she knows the house name. So there's the house. There's the actual fragrance name. Now, again, we both don't speak Arabic, so if we are not on with this, then uh, uh, you can 
you know, butcher us in the comments below if you want to. Look at that. That is a cool looking, uh, what do you even call this? Container or box or what is that? Because it's a uh, cylinder, cylinder box. Ooh, it's but Romance de Ar Parfum. It's a parfum. Oda, it is not a toilet. A Romance Eau de Parfum. And it's a uh, 45 ml. So it's a one. It's a 1.5 fluid ounce. 1.5 fluid ounce. Um, on the bottom, um, batch where code. would where would someone find the batch code when it was right created? There. So the batch code is the black ink. The when this was created and when it should expire is that white stamp of approval right there. So, as you can see, this was made sometime in 19 and it should expire in 24. Yeah, there it is. But there it is. Now, it's called Romance, but who, what Arabian company is making it? Rasasi. Rasasi. She got it right on the first try. Ladies and gentlemen, give her a round of applause. Uh, but overall, that that is a unique style container. Like It's almost like someone actually really drew that on there. That doesn't look like... You know, just a bunch of those made up. And then it almost looks like individual art pieces. Now, if you guys have this fragrance, ladies, if you have this, let us know. Is the art the same on every single one of these? Or are these individually uh, painted? Or looks kind of like that. Uh, what is that? The, the, not the crayons, but the other stuff. Uh, color uh, pencil? Kind of looks like color pencil. Or the, what's that other oh, one that's kind of... like the... Uh, they look like, like crayons, but... But it's like... Um, oil. Um, oil. Pastels or something like that. Past yeah. Kind of looks like a pastel uh, arty thing. But um, yeah. Rasasi Romance. I'm actually thinking that container. The container is actually pretty cool. I like that. Well, sure, so you can have it once we get in there. Oh, this one's kind of cool. It actually comes with a pamphlet. A pamphlet? Maybe it's a... Uh, Pamphlet of authenticity. I don't know. But before we get to this pamphlet, can we just take a? It looks like a genie bottle, or genie something. bottle, or it kind of reminds you a uh, hookah. Maybe it looks like a hookah, or even like those throwback uh, fragrances where it had this string on it and you pump it. Yep. So that would be the pump. That is. Beautiful. Um. Now I'm not sure if you're actually gonna have to pump that to. Does it? Does it squeeze or no? So it doesn't squeeze, but it kind of does give you that uh, It also pump has some look. etched in writing at the bottom. Some saucy right there. And again, there we go. Romance Eau de Parfum and a 45 ml. Um, oh. So guys. this is basically their lineup of some other stuff. All women fragrances, I believe. And then it looks like there's men and women on that. So maybe these are like fragrances that if you want that. Uh, let's flip that around again real quick. So if you look at it, they're almost uh, kind of like if you wanted to do a combination of a wifey husband fragrance, a, a duo, if you will, of fragrances. So it's kind of giving you a little suggestions on what to buy yeah. if you guys want to kind of match. This is just a beautiful bottle and it's actually pretty well made. I know that you usually go around about the cap. That was a nice cap. Nice clicker. Nice. It doesn't click into place, but you can tell it was a hey, tight fit. I thought I was doing this okay. video. You've been talking a lot. I have been talking. This talk will be my video. So, uh, <laughs> again, then uh, go ahead. It's your turn. So, it is actually a really nicely made cap. I mean, the cap is fairly light, but it's not a magnet cap. But it stays on, so you can literally pick the bottle up by the cap. It's got a nice little weight to it. Not too heavy, but not too light as well. So, right in between. Yeah. Pretty good. But you could literally, if you want it to, Clicking. pick it up. And because it's kind of light, the bottle already, it's only a 1.7 ounce. You don't have to worry about so much weight at the bottom of that cap. Uh, sometimes you get these bottles that the cap doesn't click into place right, and the bottle is heavy, so if you pick that up, it's... But you can hear that this literally clicks into place. And there's such a satisfying noise too when she pulls that thing off. It is. And when you click it back in. It's almost place. like a uh, one of those markers, those the uh, uh, Crayola markers when you used to pull it off in school and just start drawing and stuff. But look at that. Romance. Rasasi. Now, what is next? Now. Obviously to smell it. 
See, can you smell it from the bottle you at all? You can. Hmm, it's kind of like I, uh, from that, kind of I kind of get this soapy, fresh, slightly fruity, maybe Ooh. floral from it. Mm -hmm. um, so we are going to spray it. Well, she is going to spray it, and we shall see if that is indeed correct. Again, you guys, remember, like, sometimes smelling the fragrance straight from the bottle is much different than spraying it on your hand or paper or whatever you want. So skin, obviously, is the best route to go if you can do that. And I Only am problem, fresh out the shower. She is fresh out the shower. Okay. I am not, so that's why we will not spray it on me. Uh, we go, we're going to go with two, two to three sprays. Two to three sprays, my favorite. So it's actually two sprays. pretty good. That was like a a blip of a spray at the first one and then two good ones that shot up. So, um, she does have a slight mist on the arm. It's hard to see, but there there is a nice big sheen. Nice big sheen big. mark. Man, but you know, oh. I'm I'm smelling that right from here, you guys. Um, again, exactly strong. from what I smelt from the bottle, it smells fresh. It smells fruity. It smells kind of almost soapy in a way, like a of, nice body wash from a, smells, a woman's body like. wash. Um, definitely smells romantic because, again, romantic and just trying to be sexy to me are two different things. In in my estimation, that. That's not a sexy fragrance, it's a romantic fragrance, in my yeah. opinion. Okay, when sexy you is be like romantic, that. you want to give flowers. flowers. That's what it smells like. You want to be fresh. You want to make sure you smell good. You want to make sure you took a shower to be romantic. Mm -hmm. Just being straight sexy is like just, uh, you just got off of work, you're sweaty, and then you just. You want those get, pheromones. And you're going. doing it. No, but when you want to be more romantic, you take that bath, you take that shower, get you make flowers. sure you smell good, you actually take the time to. Clean those yourself. spots and stuff like that to make sure you smell good. But let's get closer to this because it's Oh, that um in my opinion, again, soapy, fresh, kind of floral, maybe musky. Um that smells kind of like a old school woman fragrance those flowers it smells like a white flowers or maybe some kind of yellow flowers maybe some dandelions or something in there but it's very nice though it it smells old school but it still has this younger twist thing going to it as well so it's that that floral kind of gives me this old school vibe but then that freshness the soapiness that i thought of the little bit of fruitiness going on in the florals and stuff like that the other mm. stuff kind of smells in between it's like a older woman younger woman and Older woman with the modern day twists. Yeah, I mean, that smells. It's it's very romantic, and I would I would hope that she would spray this on like right after she got out the shower. You know, that would smell really great. Do I see it as like a work fragrance, like going into work? Yes, because it's fresh, it's floral, it's all those it's things. Feminine. It's, it's very feminine, feminine, very nice and feminine. This is. Definitely not unisex, fellas. Do not go out there and steal a couple of sprays of this unless you are layering it with something more masculine. But, something uh, musky to mute that out a little, I guess. I mean, unless you guys both want to wear this right before you get romantic, then go right, right on ahead. But there are other options, fellas, for that. You can go get clean linen from uh, fresh linen from a Banana Republic. So you can smell like that. She can smell like that. You guys can both smell like that together. But what do you think of it? I like it. Let me smell it one more time. Man, again, it's like fresh, floral, slightly. It's not super duper soapy or something like that. It's like lightly soapy, but you know fresh, I mean? floral, slightly fruity. Maybe something that's not overly done, like not too heavy. Maybe it's like a, maybe a pear or something like that. Something that's not too... Rich and sweet, something that's kind of just right in between. So you know what I was thinking? Mm -hmm. It's kind of shampooy. Shampooy. Uh, I, I think what it kind of reminds me a little bit, if you think of shampoo, would be like kind of like Perp Plus. You guys remember Perp Plus? Oh, yeah. That was this. That was like one of the best shampoos back in the For day. The that gender. and the smell of uh, Head and Shoulders is actually you'd, you'd hate to use it because then people know you got dandruff and. You know, you probably Winter. just, especially guys, if 
you know, if you're buying shampoo and like say you're at Walgreens and and there's this lady up there and you gotta go up there and shame with your dandruff shampoo. It's kind of embarrassing for us guys. Like I, I don't know what what would be the equivalent for a lady going to a store? Maybe there's a guy like back there, a younger guy that they're trying to be cute for because maybe they get a discount, but then they're bringing up something that's kind of... Feminine products. True. You could say that, but it's something that happens anyways. You know, like it's, that's just bound to happen. Like men, we can control, uh, well, I don't know if you can control the dandruff of your head. But when you think of dandruff in your head, you think of someone who's not clean. So that's why that would be embarrassing for us. Whereas women, you guys got to go through that anyway. So I don't well, I don't see that if I was a woman, to be that embarrassing? Well, what about other feminine products? <laughs> like this. Like the douches, but at least that means you're cleaning and you're trying to smell good down there. So... Maybe if it was like one of them younger like guys, like maybe he's like, "Yo, you're trying to be cute for the little high schooler." Maybe kind of, you know, catch him off guard. Maybe he's uh, like, uh, "What is that word?" Blushing. Blushing up there because ladies coming up to him and buying some stuff. And I mean, luckily those things don't come out of the box because then he'd be like, "What's this uh, squirt gun looking thing coming out of this is, box?" Is this, or it's like this big old feeder? bottle thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a rabbit feeder? The rabbit is water. this to uh, put the water in for the rabbits or what is this? What is that? I don't know. But uh anyways, again, fresh floral kind of shampoo soapy, if you will. Um again, a nice fresh fruit, something like maybe even an apple, maybe even a pear, something light. Um, but it smells good and it is strong. It's it's coming off our arm strong. Now, again, this might not be one of those fragrances that you're going to wear in the wintertime because it's too fresh for the wintertime. You want to wear something more dark, more, you know, something heavy a little bit, maybe some leathery, woody stuff. It smells a little bit too fresh for that, but... Well, are, tell me, y'all. Are any of you ladies, guys like me? I just wear. Just wear. He tell, he'll he tell me, like, if it's... He'll pick out some stuff for me if we're, like, going somewhere together. But if I'm on my own, I just wear. And it's, again, ladies, fellas, it all depends. Like, if it, it's, it's winter, okay, but you're just planning to go inside to your office, wear whatever you want. Yes, it's winter outside, but at the end of the day, on the inside, it probably feels like summer because obviously someone probably has the heat up in the office. It's probably not as cool as it used to be. So you can pretty much wear whatever you want. Now, if you are going to be more outdoors and it's like 50 degrees and it's kind of cool, maybe you want something a little bit darker, not that. But for the most part, if you're just going indoors from indoor to car to indoor, wear whatever you want. Okay. Well, that I would give two thumbs up. And for the price, it was less than like. 17 bucks. I think I paid like 14. It Got it for a nice or best offer. So I threw in my whopping $4 and the guy just could not refuse. So he took those $14 and ran off with that. It is and I'm running off with this. Again, there are fragrances that you can buy that are in the hundreds that do not smell that good or or they maybe they do smell that good, but then again, look, you just spent a hundred. We spent fourteen. We have eighty six more dollars to go out to dinner. You guys have to go to McDonald's. See, we can go somewhere nice after I buy that. You just go to McDonald's or Arby's or Wendy's or Burger King. Unless you just are rolling the money. And we wouldn't even use a coupon either at this fancy restaurant. We'll go in with straight cash. Ninety six, uh, eighty six dollars left. So. Um, with that being said, that is definitely a thumbs up in my opinion. Easy to wear, not going to be offensive. Um, overall, just a great perfume for the nose ladies. So, pleaser. Nose pleaser. There you go. But I did do a lot of talking in this video. Uh, I did let her try to get a few words in, like normal. Like three. But uh, I will let her take it out. So... Well, thank y'all for watching another Thomas Lynn Sense. It should be Quita Lynn Sense.
in case y'all didn't know my name. But anyhow, thank y'all for watching. If you liked this video, leave a thumbs up, a comment, a like, and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching this channel. Peace. Oh, watch and us watch do a us. thumbnail. That was supposed to be my part. I used that one. Well, pick it up then. Think, watch me take it out. Me. Not you. <laughs> See, I should get a do-over. A do-over video. There is no do-overs. We don't have no editors here. This is just straight up raw footage. No, like another video. I should get to do you, another You video. get another one down the line. <laughs> okay, watch us as we do this thumbnail. Raw footage.